Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing the longest journey. So last time, um, what even happened? Yes, uh, we ended up entering the world of Arcadia, uh, delivering a couple of maps, and uh, now we're trying to infiltrate the police station, and I don't exactly remember why, but that's where we are now. So we have this old petition. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. <laughs> and immediately going for the things. Hydration achieved. I would... I was going to say I would wait until stretch and posture because we just started and it's not going to be particularly useful, but whatever. Uh, you caught me at the beginning of a stretch there, Alexander. Yeah, you, you sure are, Jewel. Um, so, we have to erase the, the one kid's arrest history because ACAB, yes. Um, does this work? Surely I have to use this, uh, this petition somewhere, right? There's no way I'm going back down into the basement. I'd rather be rolled out of here on a gurney with my body wrapped in black plastic. I mean, that's fair. The doors are closed. Oh, we turn on, uh, turn on exits. Uh, is this... That's just my incoming call. Yeah, it's your incoming call, but like... Is it... Relevant that I'm doing this? It's a vid phone. It sure is. This phone... 099-12090. Busy. <laughs> What a surprise. I seem to recall talking to these people. It's me again. Hi. <sighs> yeah, you too, bud. Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No. Shorten of emergency, we ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. What constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. What kind of work order? Ah, well, you know. About the work order... Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. <clears throat> You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. If naturally, yeah. Thus allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? <laughs> Never mind. Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension oh of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. It's a repairman. Okay, so I don't know if that triggered something so that we can use this old petition now.
Because I'm going to guess that this particular form... Oh, okay. That's the requisition from last week. What a horrible experience that was. I pray each and every night that we'll never have to sacrifice our lunch break again. You keep it, okay? Seeing that form again sickens me. <laughs> or I can keep showing it to you until you do your work. That's the requisite. Yeah. What if I played my flute? <laughs> no. Okay. Hey, buddy, want some candy? And I guess that using this pocket watch is not what we need to do right now. I'm pretty sure everyone would freak right the hell out if I were to uh, to open a portal here. Hey buddy, time to get to work. Now. Um, it's a toolbox. They don't open manually. Yeah, of course they don't. Completely secured. I can't open it. Uh, Foos, a little help, because I am really not sure how to proceed. Did I speak to you? Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? Oh. I need a requisition form number 09042, short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> Here you go, miss. Union requisition form number 09042. Okay, so now I have this. I mean, this is a blank form, right? Mokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042, short term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. The work order's blank. So, does anyone have a pen? Obviously, I better forge ooh, uh, fill out this work order first. Yeah. <coughs> Fix the damn doors. Sign the commission. There. Oh really? <laughs> That's all you had to do. Now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. Say what? Lady, do you realize what you've just done? You've interrupted our lunch break. This is an official work order. It can't be. Wait. 09042. This isn't 09042-A, is it? Uh, no, just plain old 09042-nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form, addendum for public holidays, us being on triple overtime and all. So? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. 
<sighs> Bureaucracy. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics best song? I, I mean, there's so many options, right? Of course, you would ask me this after I've turned this off. Hang on. Uh, which ones are the good ones? Now, if you're if you're watching the vod for this, you're probably not going to hear this bit, but um, you know, this one's pretty good. Decisive battle. I'm not gonna play a whole lot of that because you know we are streaming a different game and all. Yeah, well, that's your opinion. The doors are closed. What a coincidence. Coincidence? Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? Because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Holds on. You're just gonna accept that. Alright then. Alright, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. Listen, I don't want to be here anymore than you want to be here. So am I have am I gonna have to present this in order to go back over here and fill it out? Okay, now we're set. I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls! We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this lovely young lady. Watch this take approximately five seconds. Good to see you up and about, George. Mister! Mister! The plane! The plane! Are you okay? Are you guys gonna be done soon? Hey, who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. Good talk. She she does have a bit of a uh, you know snarky edge to her. Okay, so now what? Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. <laughs> Good talk. You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. Can you? Tuvok? It does kind of look like him. And it's the island reference from five decades ago. Um, they don't open manually.
So now what? It's a toolbox. That sure is. I'm not trying to talk to the dude. It's a toolbox. The panel like is panel. open and some wires are hanging out. <coughs> hey, I know how I can help. Actually, I have this gold ring. It helped me out with uh, some electrical work earlier. <coughs> Tick tock, time's a wasting. Would it help if I did the monkey? Look at this photograph. No. I'm not particularly hungry. Ah, uh -uh, they're awful. <laughs> How's it going? Uh How's it going? Uh. <laughs> Good to see you up and about, George. The ants, they're everywhere. There are ants in my pants. Good to see you up and about. I'd love some green eggs and ham, wouldn't you? Are you... Are you licensed to do this sort of thing, George? Good to see ya. What's the deal with those spaceship dinners, huh? I mean, they taste like hospital food. Good to see ya. They never quit. They quality assure everything. I can't take a pee without quality assurance standing behind me, checking off boxes and taking urine samples. I feel like that's something that was said in the dev room. Good to see you. I think this may be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Sure. Good to see you. Oh. You are not Homer Simpson. Good to see you. Ah, to be young again. And also a robot. <laughs> was that a Futurama reference? Good to see you. Captain's Log, Stardate, Sunday, July 30th. 2209. We've encountered an animal. Al. Alan. Mantle. We've encountered something weird. Good to see you. In Miracle, there are always vacancies. How many different things do you say? Good to see you. Mister! Mister! Well, the plane! The plane! The answer is that many, because we've looped around. How's it going? Uh, Do you need anything? Can I help you? My cash card. Usable anywhere in the world and it's totally anonymous. Interesting. <laughs> Would it work if I paid you more? The doors are closed. They sure are. Uh... <laughs> they don't open manually. I don't know that uh, there is anything in particular that I haven't tried yet. Hey, officer, long bribe. Uh, 
I honestly have no idea. Because I can't talk to these guys. I have nothing to say to the sergeant. Unfortunately, I don't have access to green eggs and ham from here. At least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the panel. At least they're doing something. Yeah, so I get it. Let me guess. It's a toolbox? It's a toolbox. Damn, I'm good. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. Okay. Um, Foos? I got nothing. I, I am going to require some assistance. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. Nah. Nah. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be a little annoyed if I just straight up do not know what to do. It's just, uh... The only number that I can dial is for this specific vid phone and not even that one over there. <laughs> and so the story of the legendary hero ends. Doors stuck. Are you there, Foos? A zero. Uh, do you have any idea what I'm meant to be doing right now? <laughs> Sorry to put this on you as soon as you enter chat, but you know. You need to make some forward progress here, and I really don't know what the next step is. Okay, use the phone and do what exactly? Yeah, force a call to the other one, which I've done like five times now. There's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. Out of my way, lady! Now, how was I meant to know that was what I was supposed to do? Okay, now what? I can't get to the wires while these guys are working on them. I need to create some kind of distraction. Get them away from the panel. There's a call for you too, sir. Me? I get no calls ever. <laughs> Except from my mommy. Is it my mommy? Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. Uh, thanks. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires... <coughs> Voila! I'm so good. Hey! You can't go back there! It's a restricted area! I need to distract her, but how? Okay, so... <laughs> now they're... 
doing their thing over there, presumably, hopefully indefinitely. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. <coughs> Let's see. What's the most difficult form to get a hold of? Aha. The label on that shelf says, Reporting Indecent or Lewd Behavior by Bingo or BM Personnel, number 31366. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number? 31366. Hold on. And away we go. Okay. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. I mean, yeah, possibly. Let's see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, Strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! I'll go with the old standby, bingo classic. Boring, but safe. Okay, so now we have a can of pop. It's a can of delicious bingo classic soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, bingo would still be the soda for me. Let's put some more money into the Mega Corpse pockets, I guess. That looks like a Red Mill scanner. Yeah, it sure is. There's no way we're getting over there. I mean, not yet, anyway. Hi, who's in there? Manelli, who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? <laughs> Agent Scully, FBI. It's me! Oh, hey, hey, wait. I know that voice. Identify yourself. Uh, um, I gotta run. Hey, hold it, come back. Oh my god, that hurts. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the, uh, is the investigator from uh, outside the, uh, the theater. Well, good to know he's still preoccupied. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Yeah, it Sergeant is. Morty Lowe. Forget about it. Fuck about it. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Wow, he sure is having a time, isn't he? The showers. Unisex, of course. Of course. It's the, the culture that we're living in, I guess. Manelli's in there. He sure is. Hello? Who is it? Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, oh God. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You can never tell from looking at him. 
Uh, it's fine. We'll we'll be able to to just wipe those all out when we get to the into the computer room. Sergeant Manelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. It's easy to blame capitalism. Yeah, it's not so easy to blame. Um, Bo Derek. I I don't know why specifically Bo Derek, but there you go. Oh, thank God! Thank God! I feel like this is going to have been an uh, incorrect decision. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. <laughs> No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. I could use a shower, but no. The shower's unisex, of course. I mean, I was going to go hide in the shower, but, uh, you know. So we probably need that synthetic eye in order to get by this retinal scanner. Locker room. Ah, uh, why is it now that people decide to DM me? Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney, Sergeant Maria Hernandez, Sergeant Morty Lowe, Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Yeah, unfortunately, Betoras Mendez is not one of those names. Or maybe you're making a reference and I don't know what, uh... Manelli's in there. Yeah, yeah. Gotta go, Manelli! Thanks for your help, Maria. Hey, want this uh, this can of pop? Nah, -uh, they're awful. You want some more candy? Slightly used candy. Do the monkey. I don't know if I gotta do something with this receptacle or not. 
Dann ist der aber immer so Pushpin. Oh, that's what we're doing today, huh? Hydration achieved. All right. Let me get up for this one, I guess. Y'all stretch too. If I have to do it, you have to do it. Jewel, you have to stretch. That's the rule. Okay. Uh, if you only have to stretch a finger, I will only stretch a finger next time. No, 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 no. Stretch. Do it. You'll feel better about it. I <laughs> make cute stretching. Uh, if you want cute stretching noises, then uh, Susball has very cute stretching noises, and she also has a stretch redeem. Um... broken. Yeah, it sure is. So we can't, uh, we can't interact with, uh, with Liza Manila, Liza Manili over here. I could use a shower, but no. I mean, I guess I didn't click on the on the retinal scanner now. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. It's a retinal scanner, instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. Archives. I mean, a place like a police office, I, I feel like it would want to pretend like it's all high security, but uh, they're not the type of people who changes before they have to. They change because they have to. And even then, who knows? Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Like I would just go directly to, uh, I need to leave now. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Maria, Maria. You remind me of a West Side Story. French butter sauce is redundant. If it's French, it's probably loaded with butter. Okay, um, what is the next step here? It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time.
the closer at the lock. Kind of unsettling to be it, so. Yep, yeah, it's fine. April, don't, you don't need to be so aware of yourself. It's broken. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. Ah. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. Archives, login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. Well, that's going to be relevant. How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli. God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nine? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake, you don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can! Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Kind <laughs> of change tone real quick. Whew. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, crap, my eye! Oh. Manelli's in there. Yoink. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Okay. Oh, crap, my eye. There you are. Back in your slot. Pushing in the dirty eye that rolled over the public bathroom floor. <laughs> Oh, crap, my eye! It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. Also, it just keeps falling out all the time. There you are. Back in your slot. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. I mean... For, for a definition of using it, sure. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye! Hey, leave my eye alone! There you are. Back in your slot. Oh, crap, my eye! There you are. Back in your slot. Okay. Oh, crap, my eye!
hog the eye out. There you are. Back in your slot. Being remotely with an eye in your inventory, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh crap, my eye! Blind him with something nearby. There you I are. I could use a shower. Uh, Back no. in your slot. I really oh, wish that I would not, eye. you know, continuously do this. So that there I can't you are. See. Back in your slot. Crap, my eye! There and you I are. I don't really know what else there is in Back this in room. Slot. Well, there's Manelli, his synthetic eye that keeps falling out. All the time. There is oh, a light crap, switch my eye. next to the stall. Oh, for... There you are. Damn. What oh. the hell happened to my... Maria! Maria, did you take my eye? Give it back! There you are. Back in your slot. Well, that uh, didn't work out so well. The switcheroo was what though? Dude. Oh crap, my eye! Manelli's in, Manelli's in there. Yes, I know Mil Millen <laughs> Millennials in there. What the hell happened to my There you are. Back. <laughs> oh. Manelli's in there. There you are. Back in your slot. The toy monkey on the eye. Dude. Oh crap, my eye! No, that's not working. There you are. Back in your slot. Oh crap, my eye! But irritating as hell. I think I'll shut him up now. It's Constable Guybrush. Yeah, I don't think this is the answer. Oh. The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Ah. Uh. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. Dude. 
Oh, crap, my eye. Now his other eye came out. Okay, so we're in here now. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli. And I feel really guilty doing this. Yeah, you really don't need to. I, uh, love my wife Laura and her birthday is on the 31st of this month. Which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. please. Yes, I am so good again. Now, what to search for? I think this is the guy we gotta clear, right? Fire Lizard, Terminator Boy, and Zeke. Well, it looks like your sister is still sister, alive. And that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. Warren's sister. And that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. I don't know if I need to specifically remember it or if it's just going to... Well, th thank you, Zero, just in case that we do actually need it. Okay, I'm one of her, I feel you to comply with the colonization agenda, multiple burglaries, questioning regarding destruction of I don't of think I property. need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. Blah, He's blah. been kind of active. Until I, um, update Warren's rap sheet, there's no reason to print it out. I'll just make a few small changes. Nothing major. That's much better. Scary how easy it is to manufacture a saint. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? It's a long shot, but... Damn. The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. The so-called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. Well... I have no idea what that is. Let me just real quick take a screenshot of that. Oh, uh, so we usually would finish at um, 1 a.m. my time. That's 12 Eastern. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren. I need to... I can't click on any of those. Why not? I'm just gonna make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Well... 
they don't know about us, that's uh, so much the better. Warren's sister. Please, please let there be something. Yeah, we already found that information over here. Did that give us both of those? It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. Ah, okay. So it's just both of them in one single item. Aha, I see. Well, I gave us something. It's a control panel for the archive retrieval unit. There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. Tiny data cube. I mean... Information can uh, can be pretty tiny sometimes, and have a lot of it. Can't find it right now, but uh, there's a micro SD card floating around here with 256 gigabytes of uh, of storage on it. Um. I hope nobody's watching. Yeah, I. I hope somebody's watching in chat. Incoming QT to run from the cops. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. Playing on a 28, 28 kilobit modem. 28,800 baud. Um... I think we got everything we need, right? But before I do that, let's go ahead and save to a different file. Just for good measure. You're, uh, you're having a time. I see this is still a little broken. And these three people are still here. Also, the front door is open now for some reason. Okie dokie. So we got the thing that we needed. Now we need to go bring it to Warren. And I do not remember where that is. Yeah, this is a subway. We probably need to actually travel somewhere. I like how it just hard cuts to like on the subway. Hope Street, right? Yeah, building 87. Hey buddy, got something for you. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? 
Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents. They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister, I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. I see you wiped my record clean. That's good. I wasn't sure if you could be able to do that. No problemo. I'm not too shabby with computers. So let me know what I can do for your sister. Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks, down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says, tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Okie doke. So now we gotta go to Contra Street and fulfill Burns' destiny. Uh, Newport Docks, right? That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. Cargo containers. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. And this doesn't seem like the kind of city that cares about anything, really. Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas-guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. putting your greasy hands on me. I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity and any further physical contact will result in you being toast. Okay, let's uh -oh. go. It bites. <laughs> Basically in the Midgar slums, that sounds about right, yeah. It's a rickety ladder. Yeah, it's it a rickety ladder. Sure is. Rickety ladder on this tower. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. I wonder if, um, because that's a hovercraft. I wonder if that, like, hover module from the, uh, from the crashed shuttle would work on the hovercraft. Where there's ventilation, there's life. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then. That's so last century. It's a container. What does it contain? I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one lifetime. So, no. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. That is quite the sky up there. The smog is particularly bad out here, and the air even less breathable than it is in Metro Circle. Where there's ventilation, there's life. 
Even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm gonna risk getting stuck ten feet down and starved to death. I mean, I was gonna say speak into the tube, but you know. The doors are closed. No kidding. Let's see if we can do something about that. You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? <laughs> Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. I'm not a slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't what? enough here worth shit. You know, I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I fight because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Oh, you're such a bastard! Listen! If I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit, my channel and Warren was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. That sure was a conversation we just had. I wasn't really sure if it was going to go anywhere, if I was going to, like, prov need to provide more information, but, you know. Ah, second person view. They don't look very solid. Well, once more into the breach, I guess. Into the pit. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Gee, I wonder. I wonder what the what uh, April's opinion of this machinery is. Very cyberpunkish. I never would have guessed. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's got to be Burns Flipper. Yeah, he he definitely seems pretty flippy. Hello, are you Burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked, you let me in, we spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any war- Oh, Warren, right, yeah, Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier, the Flipper likes him. Likes him good. 
You a buddy of his? Yeah. Oh, you his baby. Yeah. What? Oh, sure. I date 15 year olds all the time. Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? That's a very long response there. Maybe let's wait until we ask for this information. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Here's some information I want. What happened to your legs? What happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You want to know? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. I'll tell you you took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? I... What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. That's none of your business. Then it's none of your business how I lost my little legs. Got it? Got it. Uh, any dang way. Let's let's just get to the point. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details! Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman! There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map! Okay. You're weird. So are you. <laughs> Good talk. What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max. Illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get. For a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S-Smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S-Smart. Nah, what I got here costs moolah. Mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? I mean, yes, obviously he is. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha! <laughs> See ya! Wondering if this data cube would be of any use. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Could you? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little plaything, I'd kick you out. And whatever. Hand it over, now give me a few minutes.
It, it does seem like uh, it, it's not a particularly nice exper experience to be female in this um, in this society. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. First, take a look at this recording. I mean, you're not wrong, man. Step we... over to the screen there, and I'll play it back for you, okay? Just, this seems a lot more dystopian. To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and good. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not, by nature, a man of violence, nor are you. I know that. But the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time has come. Our time. We will do what we must to protect ourselves and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will go to war if that's what it takes. Charismatic, but cold. What do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGowan. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Suppose a peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, as clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? That's ah, a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. The grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers or the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But 
Both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking things. Trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though, and the kid is totally screwed up, split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So he's two-faced. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now he runs the whole dark side of the Church of vault -Tec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's a very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operation, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is? MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Fake the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy-duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think? Shit! Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. You gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. You know what? He's still not... He, he is still not worse than Zack. Wouldn't want to hang out with him for more than, you know, 32 seconds. But I'd still rather deal with Burns Flipper than Zack. So I, is that all we needed from him? It's, uh, the Flipper. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. 
And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? <laughs> Pitbull Terriers? Shit! Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Uh, no worries, Alex. Just don't Thanks. push it too much, eh? Sure. Um, I don't have the folder anymore. I examined the folder, and that's where the data cube was. I feel like you do a lot of things out of spite of Alex. Um... You need to press him for the ID. I like my outfit. It's inexpensive, but cool. Hey, Burn. What is it? Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. Ha! Ha ha! Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita. That urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! Shit, it gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I'm hoping my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. Okay, well, we know where to get one of those. It's just how do we get one of those? Because, like, like I've pointed out a couple of times, that anti-grav unit on the shuttle that crashed is absolutely what we need right now. How we get it, that's a different story. I guess I can probably make my way over there. Running, running, running. Wait, the one in front of the entrance? Oh, in front of the entrance, no. Uh, that that hovercraft was specifically listed as being junk. I mean, the, uh, the shuttle is not really in good shape either, but 
the fact that the um, man, where is it? No, that's we're in the wrong part of town. No, this is not right either. Uh, Metro West. I am talking about the one that the news report about. This right here. The fact that this is literally just hanging out there and it is directly interactable. I mean, it's pretty obvious that's what we need. It's just how do we get this? Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. Damn, dust. Mission five. I got this. No. Oh, what about this? That won't make the cop abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan. And being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. Worlds. Well, at the very least, it makes me think I'm I'm on the right track. It's just how do I deliver this can in such a way that um, will advantage me as well. What can I interact with here? It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm, or worse, getting fried by that military grade laser. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that I can interact with here. It's not on that screen. Uh, what's not on that screen? Take a look in the mirror lately. No. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm getting stuck with like everything here, but like. Sometimes there are games that you click well with and sometimes there's not and like although I'm enjoying the story and like April's personality the puzzles I'm just not really associating with all that well I mean, I, I've already uh, I've already decided that after I'm done with this, I'm going to do like an intermission episode where I play um, Lost in Time, which I should be able to do in one stream if I'm fast enough. 
the puzzles in there are also super weird, but at least I know how to solve the majority of them. Because I've played it like three times at least. Um, so what do I need to do here? Just straight up, what do I need to do? I need three items total, I have one. I assume that's the, the pop can. Oh boy, I wish I hadn't left. Okay, well let's go. A reenact the Simpsons episode where Bart pranks Homer with the. Why specifically a Simpsons episode? Also, that, that is such a generic thing to happen in The Simpsons that I don't really know what specific thing that you're talking about. Battle plan! Lisa needs bases! Um... Junk! Expensive junk, but still junk. I've been up close and personal with... It's an industrial strength paint shaker. I see. I think that's quite enough. Okay. This is volatile stuff. I better get rid of it as soon as possible. Oh dear. It's a pretty volatile can of soda. It could explode at any moment. Now, now I understand what you meant. Screwdriver for the unit, check back inside the police station. So we go back to Metro West. Presumably we can um, just use the can now so that we can actually, you know, not have that on us anymore. <laughs> Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Just put down your gun. Damn! Damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. I feel so bad. And I love it. <laughs> yep. 
enter door, go in door, open door. And uh, what I wouldn't give for a text parser. Why can I not interact with this door? Oh. <laughs> ah, screwdriver. Okay, we have screwdriver. So let's. This seems like an obvious. I saw thing this on do. an episode of MacGyver 2200. I'm pretty sure they would call it 2200. All right, and a little of that. No. AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Okay, so I apparently needed to notice that before I actually can use this. No skipping steps, apparently. Anyway, we have an AG control unit. I mean, that's what I've been trying to do, but sometimes these... Uh, these things are like really not obvious. Like take the eye from out of the the toy monkey. It's like really. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Cargo containers. I think I'd like to file a bug report for that one. Yeah, adventure games were not particularly my thing. This is not where we use it. Here you go, buddy. One anti-grav control unit. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! Is this what you need? Whoa! Heavy duty! That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah! Hey, with this, I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent! So, how soon can you have the ID ready? Ah, uh, a couple of days. A couple of days? I need it now! Oh, no, 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 no! Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl. Well, at least we got the ball rolling. Look at him go. Um, so presumably that, uh, that said a, uh, a story trigger so we're done here for now am I am I correct in that mostly complete for the games day all right I think it's uh, entirely complete for this half of the stream I will be doing that uh, during break jewel because I am out of water
So y'all can take a moment, get something to drink as I'm about to. Uh, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall uh, continue the story and uh, see what else we can do in this amount of time that we have to wait for the ID. So I will see you in a bit.